saying, oh my god, man, was your Guild Wars 2 Let's Play? Where you been at, D? Where you been at? First of all, I've been crazy busy with real life, with some work. I've been owning it up in the real. Second of all, I've been leveling this lovely lady that you see before you, Miss Pocahontas. And I kind of wanted to go through show you a little bit about her show you basically the build let me show you the build real quick and then we'll get into a couple of things I want to ask you a couple of questions get a little bit of feedback on that so basically let's look at this um, my traits I'm building it right now basically just marksmanship skirmishing a little survival uh, it's probably yeah this is my lowest one with just uh, just two points put in that nature magic to increase a little vitality and my buff duration or as they call that boom Beast Mastery, it's pretty cool stuff. Get plus four, uh, well, you get, you know, an extra point for every point you drop in. Plus four pet bonus, plus 40 healing. This right here is what I'm going to talk about. You know, plus 80 on the power, it's going to be good if I want to get in some close combat situations with some swords, daggers, so forth. Increase condition duration by 8%. That condition duration, you know, flame, poison, all that stuff. It's how you own it up. Put them dots on them. Increase precision by 90 so I can snipe with these short bows, long bows, whatever it is. There's no escaping. My marksmanship is on point with Robin Hood. You know what I'm saying? So, so we're getting it in. You know, of course, crits up 9% right there. So we're going to see how it goes. Something that I want to do is get more points in Wilderness Survival to increase the condition damage a little more right there. I feel like there's some value in that. Right now, what I'm using in my slot skills for healing, I like the Healing Spring because I can heal up my, my friends that maybe, uh, you know, and, and just people around me that play with me that don't own it up as much as I do. They can come into the Healing Spring and get a little replenishment, you know, drink, drink from that water and, and get that ass healed up, but got the uh the utility slots I, I throw down a flame trap hit him with a little burn got that added condition and i've got that on some of my gear so it burns a little more um with very effective spike trap just to slow them up cripple them get them up off my ass usually then i will uh if they come back on me again i'll hit them with that quick shot and jump back and then of course the sharpening stone to uh throw a little bleeding for five attacks straight it's very valuable very valuable I recommend it highly. We'll look at equipment really quick. Got the Ravaging Steam short bow for right now. Definitely need to throw like a rune or something in there to give that a little bit more buff. I just picked that up. And this is a pretty cool little weapon right here that I'm using. It's another short bow. It's got a minor sigil of corruption on it. You gain a plus five condition damage each time you kill a foe. That stacks up to 25 times. That gets really beast after a few stacks. We're not really going to get into this gear because it's lower level stuff and I'm not going to drag out more of this video up with it. So I guess basically that would be it. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to get into this weapon breakdown and uh, right now I'm just going all range. That's why I've got two bows. Normally you're going to want to have a bow, a hatchet, and you know an axe, what have you. Uh, with maybe a sword and a dagger something along those lines you know two two one-handed weapons something like that um something in the offhand but i would like to talk more about that and show you how i own it up with my ranger if that's something you're interested in hearing about please let me know leave some comments likes on this video let me know if you want to see my strategy on being only at level 37 and playing level 40 content and taking down high level beasts like they are nothing because I evade I stay on the move and I gets it in you know I mean that's it's just no it's, it's going down it's going down I I'm gonna be one of the best strangers you're gonna ever see before this is over the char had to take a back seat while I leveled up this sexy bitch right here but you know say la vie it's the way it is and hit me up let your boy know what you want to see either way you're probably gonna see some more from this chick Hey, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, gentlemen. I'll catch y'all on the next one.